Um, Roland? Are you there? The wedding's gonna be starting soon. Are you sure you're gonna have time to get changed and everything? You're cutting it a bit fine here. What on earth is going on? Is everything okay? Please respond to me, Roland. Anything is fine. Will you just let me know you're okay? Everyone's freaking out here because no one can get in touch with you, babe. Please let us know you're okay. We're worried about you. All right, there we are. That's the divorce papers handed in. All done. Huh? What the? Yep, you heard me. Today's wedding is off. Canceled. Boom. Um, Roland? What the hell are you talking about? I couldn't get through to you for ages. I was so worried. Where the hell did this come from all of a sudden? What are you even saying? Why would you want a divorce? And how could you hand the papers in without my signature? We only applied for the engagement last week. What the hell are you doing? This makes zero sense. Don't play dumb with me, bitch. It's your fault I'm divorcing you and you damn well know it. Huh? Me? What the heck? Oh my god, Roland, don't talk to me like that. You cheating bitch. Stop it. I don't know what you're talking about. I haven't cheated on you, I swear. Liar. You had a chance to prevent this, you know. I've been waiting quietly for you to own up and apologize for what you did, but nothing came, so you left me no choice. Quite the contrary, I mean, just look at all those messages you just sent me. What? You mean the messages I sent because I was worried about you and didn't know where you were? Worried? Drop the saint act, you filthy liar. No mention of the fact you cheated on me. No apology and nothing but condescending commands for me to report my whereabouts to you? Who am I, your freaking son? Your slave? That was the final nail in the coffin for you, woman. You might have had a chance before, but you sure as heck don't now. This settles it. We are done. How many times do I have to say it? I'm not cheating on you, and I never have. I know. It was against the law to forge your signature on the divorce papers. But you're hardly in a position to criticize anyone. This divorce is all your fault after all, isn't it? You filthy lying cheater. I did not cheat on you, Roland. What will it take for you to believe me? Ugh. Just hurry up and come to the church, will you please? We're never going to get anywhere flinging crap at each other like this over messages. Like hell I'm going to the church, you crazy or something? We're divorced now, so we're obviously not going to have a wedding ceremony. You need to take responsibility for what you did and deal with the consequences of your actions yourself. Now, I'm sure you'll come up with some way to get out of this without everyone hating you. You are an expert liar, after all. Quit calling me that, Roland. I'm not lying about anything. What the hell gives you the right to decide all of this on your own while you leave me hanging at the altar? Today was supposed to be our wedding day, damn it! You think I'm just making baseless accusations here? I have proof, idiot! Alright, fine. Well, show it to me then. I don't need to prove anything to you. The truth is the truth. And ain't nothing gonna change that. We're both banging our heads against brick walls trying to get our points across to each other here, Roland. How the hell are we ever going to get anywhere unless you show me the proof? What is this, some pathetic attempt to earn yourself time to pull off your next sleazy stunt? You should know when to quit. Things are over between me and you. Oh, and mark my words, bitch. You will be paying me compensation. Quit speaking to me like that already, Roland. You better prepare yourself for the hellfire that's about to rain down upon you, you cheating whore! Hey, bitch, I want my compensation, and I want my money back for everything I contributed to the wedding fund. In total, you owe me $5,000. Pay up. I'm willing to be generous and give you a whole two weeks to come up with the money. I might hate you now, but there was a time when I loved you. And this is my last gesture of goodwill and memory of what once was. You should be grateful I'm such a gentleman. Whether you go into debt, whether you have to rob old ladies in the street, I don't give a crap. I just want my money. You hear me, bitch? My money! Good.
Good evening, Kate, dear. Oh, good evening, Susie. I'm so sorry for the way my son's been behaving. It's fine, really. I kind of had a feeling you'd feel pretty rotten about it, too. And even though I'm only your daughter-in-law, you've always been really fair to me. I, I guess what I'm trying to say is that you don't have to apologize. Thank you, dear. Your words mean a lot to me. And not just to me, but my husband, too. You see, we know you're not the kind of person to do that, and... We don't believe the things our son is saying about you, not for one second. That said, and I hate to have to tell you this, but... There are many in our family who don't know you as well as we do. And unfortunately, that means they believe what Roland's saying about you cheating on him. I'm sorry to have to ask you this, and I'm sure I already know the answer, but... I have to hear you say it. You didn't cheat on my son, did you, dear? No way, of course I didn't. Can you think of any reason he might be so confused? Something that might have made him make such a huge misunderstanding? Maybe meeting up with a guy from work, or someone in your family, or, you know, that kind of thing? Hmm. Well, if I had to say, all I can think of is my brother. Oh, you mean Ben, the tall gentleman I met yesterday? Oh, if I remember, he just came back from a very long work transfer in Japan last week, is that right? Yep, that's him. We went out for a meal the day after he came back to America, but I told Roland about it beforehand. I mean, it really is hard to believe that this is about Ben. Now that I think about it, he and Roland do know each other. Yes, dear, you're right. Alright, uh, got it. Uh, leave this with me. I don't know where Roland is right now, but I am in touch with one of his friends. Let's see if I can't get some information on my son's whereabouts. Or more importantly, what on earth this is all about. Right. I'm sorry for the trouble, Susie. But I'm counting on you. Hello, Kate. Oh, I'm sorry I kept you waiting, dear. I managed to get some information about Roland from his friend. Wow, nice going. Thanks a bunch. What did you find out? Well, you see, about that. It would appear that my son has made a misunderstanding of such epic proportions that it makes me severely doubt his intelligence. And I say that as his mother. Okay... Now I'm curious, what happened? If it's not a problem for you, would you mind if we met and discussed it in person? I want to apologize to you, your parents, and your brother. I'm so sorry to ask you on such short notice, but... I was hoping my husband and I could come over and see you this afternoon? Okay, sure thing. How about we meet up outside that family restaurant near Bingle Floop Station? You know, the one we went to before? Let's say, 3 p.m.? Oh, yes, I know the one. Yes, that works fine. We'll be there. Thank you, dear. If you try coming up with some bullshit reason about why you can't, I'll take that as you failing to deliver on your promise. And I have no choice but to start adding interest the longer you take to pay me back. Hey, you think this is a freaking game, bitch? Well, I ain't playing around. Where's my 5000 and why the hell haven't you paid me it yet? We divorced because you cheated on me. Which means you owe me compensation. You clearly have no intention of doing the decent thing by reflecting on your disgusting behavior and apologizing to me. So you left me no choice but to raise it to $6,000. If you don't pay me by the end of today, it goes up to $7,000. You hear me? $7,000. If you don't want to end up financially ruined, I suggest you start doing as you're told, bitch. Boom. Hurry up and give me my money. Hey, bitch. 
What the hell do you think you're playing at? I just got a $5,000 bill for compensation. I'm not the one who's paying. You are. You don't have some stupid outdated idea that the woman automatically gets compensation during a divorce, right? You wouldn't be that much of a moron, would you? God, would you shut up already? Excuse me? I take it the mailman had something for you today, then? Did you read it properly? Oh, believe me, I read it. It was full of stupid, nonsensical crap about how I need to pay you compensation, plus all of the wedding expenses? Which part of it didn't you get? It's pretty simple, actually. Would you like me to spell it out to you like you're a child? Okay, you owe me money. What did you just say? I can repeat myself if you like. Anyway, haven't you realized I know everything yet? The fact the letter got delivered to that address in the first place should tell you the jig is up. Huh? I know where you've been hiding ever since you dumped me on our wedding day. Your lover's apartment. Wait, what the hell? How do you know? Because I looked into it, obviously. How the hell? All I can tell you is, the people you thought were your allies are not your allies. Huh? What do you mean? Let me make this clear to you one last time. I never cheated on you. You're the one who cheated on me! What the heck? No! But I have decisive proof that proves your infidelity beyond all doubt. Because I took the perfect photo at just the right moment. Huh? By perfect photo, do you mean this? It was when we were sat waiting in the seats at the front for a table to open up because the restaurant was full, right? How the heck do you have that? I took that photo. Let's just say it found its way into my possession after my private investigator and her co-workers did some digging. Whatever. What do I care how you get? At least this means you have no choice but to admit to the affair now. No, that was my brother. WTF? I did tell you I was going out for a meal with him for the first time in years after he came home from his work transfer in Japan, didn't I? Sure you did, but you were obviously lying to go out and see your lover. I saw right through you. Why don't you take a closer look at the photo? His hair is a little different to the last time you saw him, but you can tell that's my brother, can't you? Um... My brother and I have always looked pretty similar. I mean, look at our noses for crying out loud. How was it not obvious to you when you took the photo? Wait a sec. Holy crap, are you being freaking serious right now? Oh, man. Do you finally understand? What a hasty, impetuous moron you are? This cannot be happening. I think given the circumstances, I'm being pretty generous with my compromises. I could press charges against you for forgoing my signature on the divorce papers if I wanted to. I could also do the procedures to invalidate the divorce if I wanted to. But obviously, I don't want to, because you cheated on me. So instead of sending you to jail, I'll simply bill you for more compensation. I can't pay $5,000. What are you, crazy? You must be if you think I have that kind of money. Sorry, Roland, but that just won't do. You're paying me, and that's final. Given your track record with what you did to me at the wedding, there's a good chance you'll try and worm your way out of paying if I let you do it in installments. So you'll be paying me the whole lot in one lump sum. I can't freaking do that. It's impossible. I'm telling you. Oh yeah, that reminds me. It would appear your lover had no idea you were married. Is that right, Roland? Um, well... I hear her mom and dad are absolutely livid. I might be letting you off lightly, but I can't promise they won't take action against you. No, wait, please. Don't do this. Fine, you win. Let's get married again. Excuse me? Let's just move past this without any unnecessary drama, shall we? The reality of how screwed you are still hasn't sunk in, has it? What? 
My lawyer will be paying you a visit over the coming days. A lawyer? What the hell? Screw that. I just said we can get married again, damn it. Cheating means divorce, right? Or at least, that's what you keep telling me when you dumped me on our wedding day. Um, well, that's, uh... Oh, it just so happens that I agree with you. We're divorcing and that's final, so just accept it. And let's not let this drag on any longer than it has to, okay? All further communications will go through my lawyer. No, Kate, please! My parents are disowning me, damn it! How am I supposed to get by now? Do you plan on leaving me on my own? Yes. What? Alright, Roland. Well, that's pretty much all I have to say to you. Goodbye. To my surprise, I received payment for the full amount for the compensation I billed him for a few days after our last messages. To make matters worse for the pea-brained villain of today's story, his pissed-off ex-lover, whom he tricked into having an affair with him by pretending to be single, also charged him for a whopping sum in compensation. Once again, she got the whole thing in one lump sum. How did he come up with the money on such short notice, you ask? Well, I heard he borrowed it from two sisters he was friends with as a kid, who grew up to be highly successful businesswomen. According to Susie, my old mother-in-law, he signed a written pledge to serve their every whim and desire as their eternal slave for the rest of his life in return for the loan. You might think that sounds weird, and you'd be right, it does. It turns out the sisters are known for being mentally unstable sexual deviants with a reputation for being dangerous. Well, I can't think of anyone better to take care of my ex-husband. <laughs> anyway, as for me, for a short time I did feel a little depressed about becoming a divorcee barely a week after getting engaged. But they say good things come to those who wait, and six months later, me and an old classmate hit it off at our school reunion. Then a year after that, we were engaged. Fate has a funny way of bringing people together, huh? We've known each other since we were kids, and even though I never saw him in that way when we were younger, it kind of just... I don't know. It seems right now. He's super funny, kind, and... Oh crap, I'm gonna be late to our date. Peace! Hey sis, I have news. Your adorable little brother has important news to share with you. I'm finally getting married. Oh, whoa. Marriage? <laughs> I finally decided to propose to her, and she said yeah. I'm planning to have the ceremony by this year, and finally have her join the family. Congrats, Liam. Does that mean you're finally introducing her to the family? More importantly, am I gonna meet her? Actually, it's also why I wanted to talk to you today. I was planning to have her over for dinner sometime during the end of this month. Thing is, could you not speak to her during the dinner? Wait, what do you mean? If I do that, then I can't properly introduce myself. You see, she doesn't really like you. If anything, she didn't even want you to be invited for dinner, but I told her that it's really hard on me to do that to you. So I compromised with her, and she agreed as long as you don't talk to her. Wait, what? What did I even do to make her dislike me that much? I haven't even met the girl yet. You see, she's the daughter of a CEO, and they own a pretty huge company. So she really isn't fond of people with jobs like yours. What did you just say? Come on, sis. You work at a small town factory. Wear a rather dirty uniform. She really doesn't like people working those kind of jobs, lol. This isn't funny. It's because of that that she doesn't want me at the dinner. And if I really have to be there, then I can't say a single word to her, huh? What a rude girl. Can't be helped. She was raised to be pristine and perfect. That doesn't make it okay to behave like that. I understand where you're coming from, sis, but I really need you to be mature about this. Just don't say anything throughout the dinner, please. Don't embarrass me in front of her. 
Embarrass you? You're my brother, so you should be able to tell her not to judge my place of work. I can't believe you're able to let her look down on family like that. How in the world am I supposed to defend people who work at a dirty small town factory? It reeks of sweat and dirt. Can't be helped if you're disliked for that. Telling her not to judge is way more impossible, lol. What did he just say to me? I'm begging you. Just don't say anything for me, please. I'm going to marry this girl. How do you think I'm going to feel if she backs out because of you? If that happens, you're going to be the one to take care of me. What? If you don't want that to happen, keep your mouth shut during dinner. Whatever. If that's how you guys feel, then I'll just pop in to say hello and then leave. That'll be better for you guys anyways, right? That's actually a great idea, thanks, lol. I'll go tell her about this. Wow, what a surprise to see that my daughter's fiancé is your brother, Cassie. What a small world we live in, huh? It truly is. I didn't expect to see you there today at all. I'm still pretty shocked. I really wanted to talk to you more, Cassie. Were you feeling sick today? You hadn't spoken a word and left before dinner started. Yes, allergy season has me with such a stuffy nose. Because of that, conversations and eating are just a bit hard on me right now. I didn't want to disturb you guys during dinner, so I decided to leave. Oh, how unfortunate. Although I feel better knowing that it was just that. I had thought that it was my daughter that made you leave. <laughs> Excuse me? I'm sure you heard from your brother about how my daughter is such a spoiled princess. She's especially picky about the people she wants to be around. Once she's decided to hate someone, she will never change her mind about it. She has a tendency to say things like, I don't want to hear a single word coming from you, to those she dislikes. Which is why I was so worried about that happening to you as well. Oh no, that isn't at all what happened. I was the one who said I wanted to go home. Oh my, it's so odd to think that my spoiled little girl is getting married. I had noticed that she seems a bit more relaxed now. I'm sure that's all thanks to Liam. Those two really seem to be enjoying each other's presence. Oh yes, those two really do seem to get along well. I'm so excited for the ceremony. We're very excited to have you as family soon. Thank you so much for coming today. You've arrived at the venue, yes? Yes, I just arrived. How rare for you to be the one to text me like this. I'm guessing that you're gonna tell me not to say a single word to you? My, how did you know? <laughs> that was indeed the reason why I texted you. Ah, <sighs> knew it. But I've decided to rethink that choice. You can speak, but could you leave immediately afterwards? No offense, but I really don't want you here. <laughs> what? I just can't accept you. I mean, a dirty small town factory worker here at my wedding? Your presence here is just making everyone in this venue feel dirty, lol. How could you? <laughs> that dress, it's so ugly. <laughs> it honestly suits a small town factory worker like yourself. I mean, if you had put at least some effort into the way you dress today, then I would have considered letting you stay. You're taking it way too far, Lisa. This... It's my favorite dress. You didn't have to talk about the dress for me to leave. Huh? A peasant like you has the audacity to talk back to me? Things like that is what annoys me the most, you know? Oh man, I suddenly lost the urge to go through with the wedding today. I'm sure if I back out the wedding, Liam would be so sad. You wouldn't. <laughs> I'm sure you'd hate for that to happen. A peasant like you could never handle to be responsible for the cancelled wedding of her younger brother, right? 
so listen to what I'm about to tell you. I have no room for peasants like you, so get out of here. My wedding is not a place for a factory worker like you to attend. <sighs> Fine. Goodbye. I never want to see your face again, got it? Yeah, sure, that's fine. I shall do as you wish. But first, since you so kindly gave me permission to speak, I will talk to your CEO mother before I leave. I will be sure to tell her to cut all deals she has with my factory. What? My factory sells her a very important material, and we've been working together for years. How sad to think that because of your wishes. That partnership is now gone. It sucks, but it can't be helped, yeah? Wait, hang on a minute. What are you talking about? You know my mother? Why should you care about a peasant like me? So don't mind me and have fun with your wedding, okay? Bye. Come back to the venue immediately. My mother is so mad at me right now. She says that if you don't come back to the venue, the whole wedding will be cancelled. She won't approve of this marriage and will kick me out of the house. Wow, that friendly Amanda said all of that? She did. My usually sweet and caring mother is so mad at me right now. Wait, is what she was saying true? That you're the owner of the factory? That your factory makes the very important part of our company? So important that if we don't have that, then our business is practically doomed? Oh, that? Yeah, it's all true. Which means that your family company will have to pause in production for a while. Without my factory, the company can't make any products to sell. You could find another factory, but I don't think there's any around that sells the same screws. You're kidding. You've been making something that important for us? We can't find a different place that produces the same thing? I mean, we use a very special method to make the screws special as well. Even if it is just a screw. Our screws never loosen. Please, Cassie, I apologize for everything I've said to you, so please come back to the venue. I'll acknowledge that you tried, but all those things you said can't be erased. Plus, I don't have a dress that'll meet your standards. So even if you apologize that sincerely, I can't come back to the venue. I'm sorry for everything I said about your dress. Come to think of it, that dress wasn't even ugly. The dress and you were perfectly fine. That's what I really wanted to say. What was that? I think I have a dress that'll match you. So come back to the venue and I will give it to you, okay? Please say you'll attend the wedding. I'll even buy you a gorgeous dress. No thanks. Even if you don't approve of the dress, it's still my favorite. Your mother sent me this dress and I've been obsessed with it ever since. What? My mother bought that for you? Why would my mother send you a dress? She sent me the dress when I took over the factory. There was a small party to celebrate, and she bought that for me as a gift to congratulate me. She was talking to me about how hard it is for a girl to be a boss, and how we girls need to stick together from now on. That's when she handed me the dress. You're kidding. A really fancy dress from a really expensive brand store. A simple dress perfect for any occasion. It's such a wonderful gift that has been proven useful to me time and time again. So I'm in no need for any other dresses. Well, anyways, bye. I sincerely apologize for my daughter's actions. Oh no, there's no need for you to apologize, Amanda. Of course I have to. If you don't mind, I would like for a chance to properly apologize. Also, to hopefully talk to you about reconsidering ending our partnership. Amanda, I promise you there's no need for this. You also don't have to worry about our partnership ending. I was just bluffing. I would never bring damage our business over something like this. Really? Of course! 
If anything, I'm sorry about making you worry about such a big thing. I just wanted to stick it to your daughter. Oh no, there is no need for you to apologize as well. This is all my daughter's fault anyways. I really am sorry for everything. I heard about the dinner party as well. I'm sorry for stepping out of place, but your daughter is a real piece of work. It's honestly embarrassing. I know you said that there is no need for apologies, but please let me. I won't feel better until I do. There is no need to, but in return, can we discuss about work? I wanted to talk about our current contract. What? So you really are thinking about ending our partnership? Oh no, nothing like that. <laughs> It's just that the prices for the metals are going up in prices. That and a few more factors are really making it tough out here when it comes to expenses. I wanted to discuss about the amount we had set. Definitely. I will make time for us to talk as soon as possible. I will definitely hear you out. I will be sure to contact you about this soon. Thanks. You can do it once everything calms down first, though. I'll be waiting for the call. Hey sis, is it true that you're the owner of the factory now? I don't see how this is of any relevance to you. Oh, come on, don't be so cold sis. I wanted to ask you a favor regarding that. Would it be possible if you hire me to work for your factory? Please, you're the only one who can help us. Uh huh? What happened for you to be this desperate? See, after the ceremony, a lot happened. Lisa really did get kicked out by her mother. A girl who lived her life as a spoiled princess that has never worked a day in her life, now she got kicked out. That's just karma. It was her fault that her family company was almost in danger. I get that, but there's other problems as well. After I get married with Lisa, and I was planning on working at her family's company, this is why I quit my previous job. But now that plan is way out of the question. Oh my, that does sound rough. I worked at a pretty big company as well, but I thought I'd take over the family company one day, so I left. This is so unfair. So please, sis, let me work at your factory. I was pretty hard working at my last job. I'd be happy with just 75k a year, lol. Huh? Yearly wages go up when you've worked a while, right? Plus, I'm your younger brother, so you could do that for me, can't you? Why would I agree to that? Why should I hire someone like you? If you're that desperate for a job, you better hurry up and start searching. What, you're not gonna help your adorable little brother? You? Cute? Not even close. Your older sister had to deal with harsh words from your wife, since you didn't want to help out. I couldn't do anything about that. I didn't want to make her mad enough to back out on the wedding. Come on, please, sis. We practically will be homeless by tomorrow. I'm jobless. This is looking pretty bad for me. Uh-huh. I was planning on living in the apartment that our parents owned, but that also became nothing after all this. You really are jobless and homeless? Huh? Exactly. Plus, I've used up all my savings on the wedding, but because her parents got mad and cancelled the wedding, I had to refund everyone's money, and I didn't get any of my money back. Wow, you really lost everything. I promise not to let her judge you ever again. So please, your adorable little brother is in need of help. Sorry, Liam, but my little brother doesn't exist anymore. What? Yep. Your wife told me not to be around her, so even if you beg me, I can't do anything. All of that no longer counts. Lisa is over here saying that she's very sorry about everything that she hopes to get along with you from now on. You can tell her that I kindly decline her offer. Come on. Good luck. I'm busy working at my factory. After that, Liam went to beg for our parents' help as well. They also scolded him and explained that until I forgive them, he is no longer welcome back. 
He managed to find a job at a company after that, but compared to his last job, wage was pretty bad. And with how Lisa can't understand the value of money, all of his money is gone within a day. Eventually, Lisa applied to a job searching site, but ended up getting a job cleaning her parents' bathroom, crying every day how unfair life is.